Alright, I'm going to solve the puck homework. And so the first thing I did was I got the first two points and the last two points from the video. Uh, and I'll use the first two to solve for V initial and the last two to solve for V final. So the first point is 0, 31.5. The second is 1.5 and 30.5. And then the last two points are 19.5 comma 5 and 21 2. So before we find the initial v final, uh, we know that the total time is around half a second because the time between each frame is 1 30th of a second and there are 15 frames. So right off the bat, we know that t total equals one half second and we could also see from the first point to the last point oh this is d of x this is d of y so from the first point to the last point we move 21 centimeters in the x direction so that means d of x equals 21 centimeters and we know we have the t total so now we could solve for v of x using the equation d of x equals v of x times time. So 21 equals vx times 1 half. So if we multiply by 2 on each side, we get that v of x equals 42 centimeters per second. And I'm keeping everything in centimeters for now so I could have whole numbers, but at the end I'll convert to meters. Uh, and we know that the velocity in the x-direction is constant, so that would make a of x zero. Now we could start, sol start solving for v initial y and v initial and v final y. Uh, to do that, I'm going to get the v initial from these two points and the v final from these two. So v initial, as like, if you were to think about it visually, it would be the hypotenuse of the triangle, would just be... You would use the distance formula to find the distance divided by time. So the distance equals the square root of 1.5 squared plus 1 squared, which equals around 1.8 centimeters. Now if we divide that by 1 30th, because the time bef between these two frames is 1 30th a second, we get that v initial equals 54 centimeters now if we go to v final we just do the same thing so distance would be the square root of so d would equal the square root of 1.5 squared plus 3 squared which comes about to 100 which comes about to 3.3 Three five centimeters. Now, if we divide that again by one thirtieth, because that's the distance between the frames, we get that v final is equal to one hundred and one centimeters per second. So now we have v v initial equals fifty four centimeters per second, and v final equals one hundred one centimeters per second. So now we could start solving for the y direction, and we know the v initial x and v initial and v final x is always going to be 42 because it doesn't change so to do that i'm gonna draw triangles just so it it's easier to visualize that way so we get that so to solve for v initial y i'm going to draw the triangle using v initial as a hypotenuse which is 54 and then we know that the x component is 42 because it's constant so now if we use pythagorean theorem we get 54 squared minus 42 squared. And the square root of that, that comes about to be 34. So now we got that V initial Y is around 34 centimeters per second. And now we could solve for the final, doing the same thing. The hypotenuse would be 101. The X component would be 42. So 101 squared minus 42 squared and the square root of that is 92 so v final y equals 
92 centimeters per second. And since we're going in the negative direction, it has to be negative because you're going in the negative direction. So it'd be negative 92 and negative 34. So now that we have all of this, we can, oh, uh, we also need D of Y, which we could get from these points. You start at 31.5 and hypothetically you go down to zero. So it's just negative 31.5. And now that you have all these variables, you have to solve for a of y. And now using the values that Anthony had just previously found, we can finally solve for a y. First, we're gonna use this equation to solve for a y. So we have to manipulate it a little bit. So if we subtract v initial y, we get v final y minus v initial y equals acceleration y times time. All we have to do is divide by time, so v f y minus v i y over time is our equation for a y. So using that, we have all the variables that we used to find. So a y, all we do is plug in the numbers, equals negative 92 minus negative 34 over 0 0.5. And plug that in the calculator, you'll get acceleration y to be negative 116. But we have to convert this to meters because these are our uh, velocities in centimeters per second. So all we do is move the decimal point two places. A y equals negative 1.16. That's it.